my little cherry blossoms welcome to another video today we are starting a brand new series on the channel and this series is called zoo crafts this is a beautiful biomes of plenty world we are in right now um i am super duper excited i i chose this autumn area just because i love autumn so so much hello there little friend Oh my god. Okay, in the original zoo crafting, for anyone who did see it, I had a pig named Curly Fry who looked exactly like this, and oh my goodness, it's bringing back memories. First, we need to go talk to um, the person who owns this wonderful land. Hello. Hello there. You must be the new zookeeper. I'm Jessa. You can come visit me to adopt animals and have them sent to the zoo, buy food, and more. Now, I've got a lot to work to do. Go ahead and start by with making yourself a cabin to stay in. Awesome. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you, Jessa. Very cute, quaint, cute little house you have here. And I'm assuming that is where I can order and adopt the animals. Awesome. Oh my god, it's a hedgehog. Or is it a porcupine? I always get them confused. Um, I feel like this would be a really cute area to build the cabin, so I'm gonna start clearing out these trees. All these little animal noises are so cute. That's what I keep hearing. Yeah, that. <laughs> Now, I want something pretty basic for our first, you know, our beginner cabin. We can always expand off of it in the future. I just want something, you know, simple and um, cozy. <gasps> oh no! The wolves! They're attacking the bunnies! <gasps> How dare you! I mean, hey, if you're gonna kill it, at least eat it, okay? Um, also, if you guys didn't know, I used to have another channel called Juniper, um, not the big Juniper channel. I know there's another YouTuber that goes by Juniper. I didn't know that at the time of making the channel. Um, but if you look up Juniper Minecraft Roleplay, you'll be able to find it. Um, I had that channel for a little bit in between, like, my not doing this channel kind of era, and I... Uh, had a lot of fun on that channel. I just did, like a basic Minecraft high school roleplay because, you know, it's fun. Um, and had a lot of fun, but I also did a zoo craft. I did like a homestead, like a Minecraft homestead thing where like, it was like a farm type of, a farm type of let's play. And that was a lot of fun. I've done quite a lot of these types of deals, but I've never done it for very long. So I'm hoping that this sticks around for longer because I always enjoy when I do them, but I always get distracted by bigger projects. And this will just be a lot of fun to make and be like really stress-free with creating it. So I'm hoping that I remember that it is an option to do. Um, if you guys are on my Discord server, you probably have seen my updated posting schedule and what the plan is once I have started posting Minecraft roleplays again, which will be coming to the channel very, very soon, actually. If you guys are Azura Hills University or Minecraft High fans, you will be very happy. Which, fun fact, if you watched Minecraft High and you don't know what Azura Hills University is, it is a sequel. So it follows Angel, Dean, and the whole crew going to university instead of being in high school. So go check that out. There are three episodes out of that right now, and I'm working on the fourth currently. Um, it took a couple months break, mainly at first because I got sick, and then I completely lost inspiration uh, for the series, but I have a lot of inspiration now, and I've learned how to um, better... I guess the way to put it is I know how to gauge when my mental health needs help a lot better now than I used to be able to. I also learned that caffeine makes me incredibly anxious, so I cut caffeine out of my diet. Um, I didn't think that it was affecting me at all because I just, you know, you don't think of that. Um, you think, oh, maybe, because I'm, I'm currently on birth control, maybe my birth control is making my, my mood unstable. Oh, maybe I, you know, it's my ADHD, maybe it's this, maybe it's that, and I, I learned as I cut caffeine out because I just, you know, we ran out of it at the apartment and we didn't have time to go grocery shopping. I learned that I get really anxious when I drink caffeine and I didn't know that that was why I was getting anxious. <laughs> if, if you're getting anxious for no reason, try cutting out caffeine for about two weeks. See if you see any difference. If you don't, it's not that, but you know, it could definitely be contributing to it. I still get anxious and I do have anxiety. But since I've cut out caffeine, it has been way less than it used to be. So, try cutting out caffeine if you if you struggle with anxiety, just to see if that's making it any worse. Um, I don't necessarily think that it was all because of caffeine, but I do think that the caffeine was not helping by any means. Um, but <laughs> the only downside to that is um, I have ADHD, and 
I I think that the caffeine, obviously, if you did not know this, it is a basically a natural stimulant. So, well, yeah, I think that's the way you word it. It basically can act like ADHD meds. Don't don't use it like ADHD meds, but a lot of people that are self medicating because they don't have meds for ADHD um, or different neurodivergencies will use caffeine as a stimulant. It's not very good to do because you will become addicted to caffeine. Um, but it is a thing that people do. So I think that I was very dependent on caffeine. Um, so my ADHD is kind of wild, uh, now that I'm no longer drinking caffeine, but it has meant that I am incredibly creative. I got a lot of my creativity back. Um, but it's kind of all over the place creativity and I can never focus on one project at a time. I am actually currently working on three role plays right now. Three. Three role plays. I normally work at one at a time. It takes me months to get it done and then get it out, right? I have been working on three different role plays simultaneously and it has honestly been a lot of fun. I, I have been able to figure out how to use my ADHD for the betterment of my career rather than the downfall of my career. So it's been, it's been nice working with my my natural brain uh, responses and kind of how it can't focus on things um, and being like, okay, you can't focus on that. Let's do something else productive. And yeah, that's, that's been, that's been uh, my personal life recently. Um, I think I remember why one of the reasons I really liked doing these series, it really gives me time to kind of talk to you guys about what's going on in my life. Um, unlike I normally do. Okay, I think this is the size that we're going to go with to start. I actually think I'm going to make this just a one block door. I think that looks a little bit better. Um, I definitely am going to expand on this later on. Um, probably add a second floor later on too. Um, because I want to have like a kitchen, living room, all that jazz. Um, but this definitely works for now. I think it looks really cute. Let's go ahead and figure out what we're going to do for the roof. We might use dark oak wood since we do have quite a bit of dark oak wood like that. I also think it matches like the vibe of the area very well. Oh no, I'm running out. Oh no, that was nearly as much as I thought it was. Okay. Well, lucky for me, there are quite a lot of trees um, that are dark oak near. I, I, that's one of the things I really like about Bimes of Plenty. There's just a lot more diversity in the trees. You don't have to travel hundreds of blocks to get to different, uh, wood types, which is really nice. Um, you can get multiple in one biome. Where you can get multiple in one biome in vanilla, but it's a little harder. I also made the biome sizes to small, um, so that the biomes would be closer together so we can have a wider variety of animals in our zoo because I felt like that would be very nice so that we can have like, if you guys have a favorite animal, comment it down below and we can put it in the zoo. Okie dokie, I think we have the roof fully finished. <gasps> Ta-da! Ooh, we could add like a window up there. Wait, that'd be really cute. Let's do it. Yeah, ooh, cute. Let's make it symmetrical though. Okay, awesome. Um, Let's totally make the floor dark oak. I think that would look really cute. Awesome, that worked out perfectly. Ooh, a persimmon. Very nice. I think, are we on peaceful right now? Okay, let's switch it to easy. I was like, wow, I'm so surprised I haven't gotten hungry yet. And then I realized we are on peaceful mode and that is why. Also, I love the fact that my ax is just shimmery shining on my back. I feel, I feel very pretty uh, because of this ax. <laughs> I'm also in, okay, I'm using default textures, which is very, very strange for me. I am not a default textures type of gal by any means, um, but because of the types of mods I have and because of the nostalgia of Zoocraft as a whole, I thought it fit being in vanilla, not vanilla, but van vanilla textures. Um, that is quite a strange shaped tree. It's okay. It's okay, little guy. You keep growing. You keep growing. You're doing great. You're doing great, sweetie. I love a good dark oak door. I think dark oak doors are the best doors, so we're going to use a dark oak door. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, we need cobble. We need a mine. So let's just make our mine probably somewhere close to our house because this area won't have any enclosures in it. Hmm, this might take a while, especially because we don't have coal. We're gonna go try to find a cave instead. 
<gasps> Ooh, what a beautiful tree. Is this a plum tree? <gasps> plum tree. Plum tree. <gasps> There's coal. Quite a lot of coal, to be honest. I'm very happy with the amount we got. We got 19. Ooh, there's more over there. Ooh, and over there. Wow. Oh, let's place our bed down in our house. Beautiful. Boop. And let us take a nap. Oh, we're gonna have a beautiful view of the sunrise. I didn't even plan that. That's beautiful. I guess we have a we have a window on every wall, so we would have a inevitable view of the sunrise and sunset. Um, okay. What am I supposed to be doing? Right. Right. A uh, furnace. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. Oh gosh, what went by? Oh, it's, it's just you. I was like, what went by my window so viciously? Is this too many torches? I feel like this is too many torches. It's okay. You know, you only live once. Might as well torch it up. You know, I say that and- Ooh, iron! <gasps> Are we a gamer? I think so. Let's go back up. We found our loot. We're going back up. I'm not a miner. I am 18. <laughs> Put a little torch there so we remember where that is. Um, and then what I was meant to be smelting actually was um, the sand. That's what we were meant to put in because we're making windows, correct? Um, I believe you make glass pane by like putting four wind four glass, I think, which I is what I want to make. I want to make glass pane. I want to make them feel pain. Feel pain. <gasps> Hello? Hi, buddy. You look adorable. What is that? Is it to show that you guys are, like, hungry or something? What is that, like? Yeah, that. What is that? I don't know. Do I have anything that they can eat? No, I don't. I believe there's a village over there, which I might go explore eventually. Okay. Ooh, I have enough to test out my theory. Is it that? Or is it that? It's that. Okay. Wow, default textures be wild. Whoa, I did all of them. Easy. So now we have to figure out what our first habitat's gonna be. So I was thinking we could go with something obviously native to the area um, in this kind of autumny, autumny realm um, in a woodsy area. Um, so yeah, okay, I think I'll go ahead and leave this episode here. I've been recording for almost 30 minutes. I don't know how long this actual episode's gonna be. I don't know how much I'm gonna cut out and how much I'm gonna leave in, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. Oh my God, I'm joined by the cute little pigs. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Comment down below what you guys want me to make an enclosure for first. Bye.